What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a fantastic one. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing that's kind of interesting. Right now, it is playoff time. We've got the Green Bay Packers. I need to start focusing in on the game and stuff. Jordan Love and that shoddy, uh, shoddy defense that the Green Bay Packers have. But I've been dealing with a lot of people that are just straight-up haters and things. And, you know, when you start having everybody's got a list now, everybody's got a ranking and everything else, and a lot of times people do things not necessarily what they really believe it is, uh, a lot of times they do it for getting reaction and getting views. Let's be honest here. The bottom line is you want to get people to watch. And sometimes you have to do something that is going to get people's attention, even if it's not the truth. That's what people do. And so when you see ESPN, which their claim to fame is basically selling Dak Prescott's name and the Dallas Cowboys, they know they're going to get views. They go through and say, well, Dak Prescott, he's actually, you know, really good. We were wrong. People aren't going to watch. The haters aren't going to watch. Well, Cowboy fans will, and maybe that's all you need. So we've had pro football focus has had their all pro uh, set where Dak Prescott got dissed and people are putting, of course, Josh Allen on it. We've had the NFL PA one, which I don't think had Micah Parsons on it. Now, this is the AP, AP. OK, Associated Press. And so this has been around forever and they don't necessarily have an agenda and things. These are sports writers and things like that that vote on this. So here's the AP All Pro. Um, All Pro list that they have. And this is shocking. After the third straight 12-5 and five season, nine Cowboys players were named to the AP All-Pro team on Friday. Nine. I, I'm like, nine? What? The, the fudge? Wide receiver, C.D. Lamb, Deron Bland, Zach Martin, and Albury were all named first team All-Pro. That's freaking insane. And then, second team All Pro, Dak Prescott, Micah Parsons, Tyron Smith, Tyler Smith, and punter Brian Ang Anger. Um, I'll be 100% real here. Tyron Smith, when he's healthy, yes. Tyron Smith is one of the best in the business. Um, definitely, at least the second best. But I don't know with the amount of games that he's missed if you still put him there as a second-team All-Pro. I ain't, I ain't mad at I'm not mad at him. I mean, it's like him and Trent Williams. Um, Tyler Smith definitely has been getting, you know, all the love all season long and makes you worry about will he have to play tackle instead of guard. When you've got two guards that are All-Pro, one is a second and one's a first, you don't want to mess with that. And our punter, who hasn't been used a lot this year, um, being named, yeah, he, he, he's been a great punter for years. He was, you know, uh, all pro last year and uh, the year before, I, or last year he was. Or was it two years ago? Two years ago when he had his contract up, they uh, were actually like, you know, I don't know if we can sign him because he's going to be too expensive, you know, with AKA Catboy. Micah Parsons, you know, you can understand that there's a lot of great edge rushers, and the reality is, is Micah Parsons is, they almost need to come up with a hybrid position because Micah Parsons, if he were to pass rush just every down, he would definitely just be one of the best. He's already one of the best as a part-timer. If he was a linebacker, he'd probably be one of the best ones out there. You know, he'd probably have as many tackies as, say, Bobby Wagner, who, mind you, I did want to get a few years ago, uh, who led the league in tackles. But he's playing multiple positions, and he is going – sometimes he's coming from, you know, the, the one technique. He is literally all over the field. So for him to compete against, you know, edge rushers, guys that are always in that same spot doing their thing and having the numbers that he has, he's playing b above and beyond. Now, one other thing I will say about Dak Prescott, too, because something that's not taken into consideration, a lot of times players will get great numbers because – 
you know, as they put it, garbage time. Remember how they used to say that Dak Prescott used to get yards on, you know, it doesn't matter because it's all garbage time. Well, Dak Prescott, I think, has played one game completely through. One game. He has left sometimes in the third quarter, fourth quarter, half of quarter stuff. If he had been playing all those games to the end, you probably have about two and a half more games that he would have played. And if you take two and a half more games, and I know people are going to be laughing at me for making this whole situation up, but if you were to project his numbers, because right now he is basically two TDs a game, you'd probably have 40 TD season. I'm, I'm being serious. If he's in there for the fourth quarter against the Commanders, you're telling me he wouldn't have made another touchdown? If he's in there for another quarter you know, against the Giants or some of these other te- the Panthers, you're telling me he's not making some more touchdown passes? And in which case, the Cowboys blowing people out has hurt him as far as his numbers go. And so when you think about teams that basically are playing two-plus more games than Dak Prescott, his numbers are that much better than what you think. And I'm glad that Associated Press, because this is the one that's been there. This is the original one that has been there forever. All these other ones are Johnny Come Latelys and things. And um, I know th- the thing about it is, is we as fans probably care about it more than Dak Prescott does. Dak, it's like, hey, it's great to be, you know, a division, uh, you know, our, win our division and all that. But I, I, I don't care about wearing a t shirt right now about winning the division, I want a Super Bowl. And I can guarantee you that these nine players right here who are all going to be healthy for the game, that all of them want to shut everybody up and prove that they do belong as that all-pro. So shout out to my Dallas Cowboys as they get ready to take on the Green Bay Packers. We'll be looking at the uh, practice list, but we expect everybody to have all hands on deck for the Cowboys versus the Green Bay Packers. This should be one that Mike McCarthy is motivated on since that's his old team. You're going against a very, very young team. You are a veteran team. you got more experience. You should be able to take this game as a stepping stone for the next level. And hopefully that will be the case. All right, nine all pros. Wow. I'm just thinking about the 2007 team that we had. We had 13 pro bowlers, and I think, Maybe, maybe four. I have to go back and look at that. This may be a record for the Cowboys. I got to look back and see how many all pros we've had in a season or who has the record. All right, good people. I appreciate you all as always, and I will be seeing you soon. Peace.